Hey Taurus, this is Moon Pie doing your love reading here for the month of April 2022. This is a love reading for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please remember the messages are general, so please be mindful. Take what fits, leave the rest. If you want to get a personal reading from me, there's a link in the description box below. Um, do go over to my other channel, House of Virgo, so you can join in the love podcast that I will be doing on my channel. Monday, Wednesday, Fridays, and also Saturdays. Check that out. Um, and I will also be coming back with a different time for your Saturday um, question and answer. Okay. All right, Taurus, let's take a look here. Also, if you are interested in purchasing any of my decks, there are links below this video where you can just click on the link and that will take you over to my Amazon affiliate and you will be able to purchase some of my favorite decks. All right, Taurus, let's get started with your reading. See what's going on here for the month of April 2022. Okay, so you've got the King of Swords. You have the Three of Wands. Okay, you've got somebody here waiting for you. Um, hmm, they may have run away or you may have run away from the connection. Uh, somebody definitely wanting to connect with you. Get some walls up. Okay. So we have the, we have the seven of wands in the return in the reverse. So there were some walls up and those walls are coming down. That's what I'm seeing here. So, um, hang man in the bottom of the deck. So this is a new perspective. Somebody seeing something differently here. King of Swords, Gemini, Aquarius, Libra could have been, had a connection with that person. Um, doesn't have to be, but this is someone who's more cerebral, more in their mental energy most of the time. I feel like um, there's somebody here waiting for you to come back. This is very strong, this message that I'm getting. Somebody waiting for you to return. Um, I don't know necessarily... I mean, I don't, there may have been some deception or something that went on in this connection, but it seems to me that um, it was mostly a running away energy that was left somebody wondering where somebody else was. Um, I feel like you might have dipped out or broke something off or just disappeared on somebody, Taurus. And this person, um, it, it feels to me like they want to try to come back into union with you in some way or connect with you or just have a meeting or just to talk to find out where you've been or what's been going on this person might have also been someone who ran away or disappeared and and wherever they went to um they're actually they're setting up camp for you to come to where they are, okay? I feel like somebody had their, with that nine of wands, somebody definitely had their walls up, their boundaries up, and now seven of wands reverse is like weakening those boundaries, weakening those walls. Um, whatever, it feels like whatever they were trying to protect um, or protect against or whatever they were um like building some kind of wall to, for protection in some way i keep hearing um those th they're quitting with that like there's no more doing that they're not doing that anymore all right that's so interesting you know you don't have any major arcana so this feels like a decision that this person is making on their own let's see what your love messages are here this feels like um a decision on their own you're at a distance to each other is what I'm seeing. They had to go somewhere. And then it, you might have left a connection as well. But this person had to leave. Uh, and I don't know if there was a conversation between you two that said, uh, come to where I am or um, come visit me or come with me. Maybe you didn't go or you weren't able or something along those lines that might have happened. This person is still waiting for you to show up. I'm just, I'm just hearing... Um, I'm, they're giving me the word and the image of a cherry uh, and they're, they're giving me the word cherry cherry cherish cherry cherry blossom cherry tree something to do with cherries or cherry blossoms or cherry trees it's interesting a lot of cherry blossom a lot of cherry blossoms i don't know what that means all right let me see what is the love messages here this is definitely a divine soulmate connection. Okay, trust. The situation is calling for you to have faith, Taurus. Okay, this doesn't have to be a lover. It could be a friend. Somebody had to go somewhere or a family member. This person's been waiting 
for you and um, they want you to come wherever you are if they told you that they wanted you to come heart to heart conversation see I do feel like this person wants to talk to you they want to have a conversation like a heart to heart seriously discussing how you feel about each other or what's going on in the connection right meeting up having some kind of meet up um, they're ready to talk I feel are ready to open up and talk let's see here I see this person, you know, there's travel involved with them. There's also an energy of like ready to expand your belly <laughs> or ready to just expand on this relationship and talk about these things. Very deep attraction. Um, very deep between two people here. You could be meeting somebody new. This could be a date. This could be somebody new that you're connecting with um, that's in the process of um, getting ready to move or maybe you meet them long distance. They want you to come to where they are is how I feel. Okay, they want you to run away with them or run away or run to them. <laughs> run away with them or run to them. All right, let me see. Let's see what other messages you have. What else does Taurus need to do? Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus? What else does Taurus need to know in regards to who this person is, what their energies are, what they want, what they're trying to... Okay, strictly sexual. This Okay, this connection is passionate but not enduring. Interesting. A leap of faith. It's safe to make the move you're considering. Release, radical acceptance, surrender can help you let go. And friendship. Okay. All right, for some of you, this is pretty clear. Um, <laughs> this might be a friends with benefits, and some of you might have said no to this person, um, or this person, or this could turn out to be this way, and you might say no, and yet this person, I feel like, is still going to be waiting or reaching out or hoping that you will connect with them in some way. Um, I can't get into any deep psychological reason of why this person is like this or what brings this about. It's probably kind of apparent um, but only because it feels like it's long distance and the best that you're able to give each other is friendship and um, a passionate type of connection with each other I feel like this is something that could lead to more um, but there is this thing where I get a I pick this person could be on the cusp with Gemini Taurus or maybe you are and I, I just kind of get this person is very cerebral they um they don't have there's no the only cup cards here is the two of cups so it's kind of surface it's always like a potential for a romantic love partnership that kind of thing coming into union but it's mostly like starts off as friendship um a lot of passion in this connection i feel like this person wants you to like they want you to take the risk and come see them and connect with them some of you are like you know whether it's going to be I feel like there's a concern that it's just going to stay friends, but it seems to me that it's actually going to lead to more. Um, I just want to get one more. Okay. It feels like you need to, like, if you're going to do this, it's like a radical move here for you to do. And it feels like uh, it's not maybe out, it's out of your comfort zone or something that you would not normally do, but it, it gives me a sense that you might take a risk here, like that full energy, like take a chance and go on this adventure or connect with this person. Okay. Yep, here you go. Passion. Right there. It's a very passionate connection. Try something you've never done before. That's what I feel like is going on here. Okay. All right. So <laughs> it's time to decide about this relationship, a decision you're going to be making here, whether to reach out and connect with that person and go. I think this person having to leave or be at a distance to you. Um, it's really hard. It was really hard for this person to do that because they really do want more. It's just, it's kind of like, it's like you guys can't give each other too, too much more um, at this time. But I feel like this person does want to have more with you, not just, you know, even though it says the connection is passionate but not enduring. Passion is hard to keep um, every single day, okay? So the passionate part um, is the only thing really you have to hold you two together. It's the only thing that you both, um, it, it's difficult. It has to move into the next level because to have enduring passion day after day after day after day is exhausting. It's like, it's like having, you know, 
physical intimacy with each other like 24 hours a day. I mean, it's like you might as well just go to the gym 24 hours a day. I mean, it's a lot of work, okay? Um, so that the, that aspect of it is just, oh, there's got to be more to it than this. And I feel like making that um, friendship bond with each other, that soul bond here, will actually develop into something um, much more than just friendship in this connection. But there is this cause to be like, oh, do I want to take that chance? Do I want to take that risk? Even for them, it could even be in reverse. Is this person going to take the risk and come towards you? You know, do you want them to come towards you? All right, let's see what your charms are here. Okay. So you have a unicorn. Oh, my gosh. That's it. It's something to do with these cherry blossom flowers. I have no idea what that resonates, how that resonates for anybody here. I don't know if you can see that. It's gold. It's a gold flower. But this is 100% um, immediately I'm seeing these cherry blossoms. Gosh, in fact, if are they even all over this these cards here? They're like everywhere showing up here. Hmm, you also have a unicorn. Okay, so I just heard um, a company called Unicorn, maybe, too. But there's also, like, this is a very unique situation. Um, very unique. Um, there's something about it that makes me feel like it's too good to let go. I hear it's it's radical. It's, it's, it's like something... It's a very unique connection between you and this person. And to let it go would be a shame, is how I feel. Um, it, it's not your run-of-the-mill, everyday kind of connection. This is something very special. So it feels to me like the cards and the messages I'm getting here is um, you have a decision that you need to make. If you want to take this jump, make this leap, take this risk. Um, it feels like um, there might be a fear that it's only going to be a sexual connection. Um, but I don't feel like that's the case. I feel like that's... Um, the best case scenario is friendship turning into love. So, of course, at the end of the day, you have free will and you need to be able to assess that yourself, Taurus. So I'll leave your message here. Don't forget to um, smash that subscribe button if you enjoy my channel. And don't also forget to come over to my other channel if you would like to join in the Lovecast live stream where you can participate in topics and things like that. I'll be doing the hosting podcast there. All right. I will see you guys very soon. Love you. Take care. Bye.